Hi everyone! In this lesson we will explore how much water we use at home. Can you think of ways that your family uses water? Thinking back to our previous lessons, do you think that water is being wasted in the food processing industry? Do you think the ancient agricultural methods we talked about could be applied to modern water usage? We've already learned how important it is to take good care of our water supply. Today we're going to learn measuring devices and units associated with water. We're going to use math to describe and measure water usage. We're going to understand audits and how to do a water audit at home. And we're going to figure out ways to reduce waste water at home. Here are your vocab words for today. Pause the screen and write these words and the definitions down in your garden journals. Or just repeat the words out loud after me. Our first word is measurement. It contains the word measure and is written as an amount. For example, you need two cups of flour to make brownies. Our next word is consumption. This word is derived from consume and means you eat it or use it up. Our next word is audit. An audit is an evaluation or examination of something used by people. For example, people will perform an audit when they want to measure how much something is being consumed. Our final word is conservation, meaning the sensible use and protection of things found in nature. You've probably heard this word many times. It is important that we preserve natural resources so we will have enough for the future. What are some ways we can measure water? Gallons, pints, quarts, and liters are all units of measurement for liquids. What are some of the ways you and your family use water? Did you know that saving water also saves money too? Water conservation uses less electricity and fuel. In some places, people don't have running water in their homes and they have to walk long distances to get clean water for cooking, drinking, and doing their laundry and dishes. Do you think if you had to walk a long ways, you'd use more or less water? Now over to your garden teacher to see what's happening in the garden. Hi everyone, this is Mrs. Mary. I am back in your garden at Oceano. And so what did you think of the last video? I thought that was pretty interesting to learn about food processing. It does use a lot of other materials. There's a lot of consumption that goes on with food processing. But what we're gonna look at in our video today is water consumption or use in our own homes. So this is a water audit and we are going to conduct an audit which means a calculation. We are going to calculate approximately how much water we use in our own homes and we're going to do this by going through a whole list of different things that we use, how much, in the course of a day. Now you can download this uh, and print it out, or you can just copy the column and the different amounts of water that you would use for each activity, and you can just write it in your garden journal. But I'm gonna use our audit sheet. But we can't do that here in the garden because we're gonna be doing a home audit. So we're gonna do this at my own home. So let's go audit. Does that sound familiar? Can anybody tell me what that is? That's right. That is the sound of a toilet flushing. Let's listen another minute. You can hear the water running. That's the water filling up the tank. That's why it takes so much water to do a single flush. So we're going to figure out on our water audit how much water are you using in a day figuring on an average five gallon flush? Now, there are low volume toilets available as well, and they use uh, two gallons of water. So let's turn that into a math problem. Let's say you collect all your data about your five gallon flushes in a day. Now figure out what would that water usage, that consumption, what would that be if you had a two gallon toilet? And that will tell you exactly how much water you could save by changing out a toilet. Also, another nice water saving tip is 
Never, never, never use your toilet as a trash can. Let's say you've blown your nose and you have a piece of Kleenex. Don't drop it in the toilet. Just drop that right in the trash. And that will save you five gallons of water right there. Now this is the tank. And inside the tank is where the water is held until the next flush. Now if you want to save about a gallon, you can displace the water that's in the tank by filling up a plastic milk jug, one gallon size, and set that inside the tank. And you'll use that much less water. Well, let's turn that into another math problem. Let's say for every flush, if you have an average five gallon toilet and you've displaced one gallon of water, how much water are you gonna save over all the flushes that day? So we're gonna work on our water audit and we're gonna start with the toilet flushes. So there you have it, just a few tips on water conservation in the bathroom. Okay, so I'm still here in the bathroom working on our water audit. And this is our water audit sheet. You can actually copy this, print it up, or you can just make your own list and even do that in your garden journal. Just make a list of the different things that you do. And this has all the different um, quantities of water that you would be using. So let's take a look at one more thing in the bathroom that uses a lot of water. And yes, that would be brushing your teeth. So according to the water audit, it takes two gallons on an average to brush your teeth. So let's see. We'll close the stopper, turn on the water, wet our toothbrush, put some toothpaste on, that takes a few seconds. Here we go, and now let's brush. We're going to get our front teeth. We're going to get those back molars. Let's see, got to get the molars on the other side. Go front. Oh, got to get the inside now. Let's do the inside of all your teeth. And flip that over inside of the top teeth. And maybe a little more on the front. Get them good and shiny, nice and white. And then you gotta rinse your brush. And then after that, you're gonna rinse your mouth a couple of times at least. And I think that's about it. Now we turn our water off. Well, look at that. We have almost a whole sink full. That does look like that could be just about two gallons of water. That is a lot of water. Now I should collect this and go water a plant with it. But to be dramatic, you're gonna see all that water go down the drain. And that is literally what happens if you leave the water running while you brush your teeth. Go. So let's compare. Let's go ahead. Close up the stopper, turn on the water, get your toothbrush wet, there. Now you're gonna put your toothpaste on the brush, take as long as you want to brush your teeth, and then rinse your brush, and then rinse your mouth, turn the water off. Now that is a pretty substantial savings of water consumption. Well, I hope that was kind of fun uh, checking out how to do a water audit and uh, to get a few tips on how to save water at home. So this is the last of our videos for this session. And I hope you learned a lot. And I want you all to know how much I miss you in the garden. And I'm looking forward to everybody coming back, which could be sooner than later. Very exciting. So until then, study hard and I will see you in the next series. Bye. Now you may have already gone over some of these questions with your garden teacher, but take some time to pause the screen and write down your responses. Good job, you completed the series. Thank you for joining us and see you next time. Well, I hope that was kind of fun uh, checking out how to do a water audit and uh, to get a few tips on how to save water at home. 
So this is the last of our videos for this session. And I hope you learned a lot. And I want you all to know how much I miss you in the garden. And I'm looking forward to everybody coming back, which could be sooner than later. Very exciting. So until then, study hard. And I will see you in the next series. Bye.